So, I've been cleaning these uh, carburetors, uh, dipped them in chem drip, doing some carburetor cleaner fluid, doing some air compression. Got everything good and cleaned, and then working on the on the last float bowl here. When uh, I see a very tiny crack, probably won't be able to see it in this with this camera, but right in here, there's a crack. Check out these pictures. So, uh, I did my usual uh, Facebook group research, put a post out there and said, you know, this, is, this is what I found on my carbs, and a lot of people were saying to get some JB Weld and uh, slap it on there. Got a couple people that have been using the JB Weld, I mean, had similar situations on their carburetors and that it's been running well for 10 years, 5 years, with no leaks. So uh, I went down to Walmart last night and uh, went looking for the JV Weld and uh, people wanted to make sure that I got a JV Weld that works with gas tanks, with fuel. So I picked up this guy. It's a uh, steel stick, JV Weld steel stick. And uh, it says it's suitable for, for fuel tanks. So, did some YouTube research, saw a couple guys use it on some gas tanks, so looks like it's going to work pretty good. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to clean up the bowl a little bit more where the crack is. I'm going to hit it with the Dremel wire brush just to clean it up, clean up where the where the JB was going to go into. Cleaned up pretty good. Tempted to clean the whole bowl with that Dremel. This uh, steel stick has the the two the two e epoxies in there. For you to mix up, so I'm just gonna have to cut a cut a piece off. I don't think I need that much. Like a baloney. Maybe, maybe. So I'm gonna knead these until not the best gloves. Knead these until it's all one color. I think it's all one color now. I think I have too much. Move a little bit. Terrible gloves. Do not use these gloves. The bad part is the crack is it's right on the edge. I'm gonna have to take off these gloves. Not recommended, but
I washed my hands real good. I think that's the best I can do. This is the bowl that had a crack in that I put the JB Weld. But I'm hoping I did a real good mixture. It's, to me, it feels a little damp, even though it's been about a week. But hopefully that's good. If not, I'll have to get a new one. But there she is. Got the carburetors back together. Um, this one is the one that had the crack bowl on it. So uh, there was a lot of rust in here, a lot of condensation, especially in here where the float uh, needle goes. Where the there's a little another I don't know what you want to call it needle piston thing. There was some nasty stuff in here, so make sure to get that cleaned. I took took the Dremel to this uh, float where it was rusted out, cleaned it out with a, with a little wire brush. I'm hoping these are still good. Uh, got the pilot jet in there, I turned it all the way down, and then uh, unscrewed it two times. Uh, but. She's coming together. And these are the parts that were left over, one of each from each each bag. So I just combined all the old stuff to this bag, all the, all the new unused stuff in here. Uh, it comes with the the two different size jets, a 122 and a 128. So 122 goes in the rear and the 128 goes in the front. So it comes with both, so we're gonna have one of each left over. And it comes with these, uh, I would imagine it's another jet, extra jet, pilot jet. Um, I didn't see that I needed to use these, so I didn't use them. And then it comes with these plugs. Uh, these plugs would go into the pilot, in the pilot screw hole. I guess if you wanted to to plug it, this these are the ones that you you have to adjust. And uh, if you wanted to plug it, you'd stick them in there. So uh, I didn't do it because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to adjust those really worried about having a good clean carburetor since uh, I just today um, Facebook on that Facebook group that I'm a part of a lot of people are asking questions about the idling of their bike <clears throat> so I just want to be uh, make sure I have a good clean carburetor to eliminate that from any other problems that might be causing the bike to run differently also hope I have all the hoses that need to be used. Um, so hopefully, if I don't have them, I can buy hoses at the parts store. But yeah, uh, that's the carburetor cleaning. Like I said, it wasn't really going to be an instructional type video. Just uh, me cleaning it, unscrew I mean, unscrewing it. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Let me know any, any suggestions you have, any help. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks.